What is up, Alien Army? I am Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore, and I always have to start each video with the Neptune dance, and we sway, and today, today our esoteric topic is going to be a quick pick a card reading. This is going to be about any topic, and we have five piles here, and I'm just going to tell you briefly what each of these piles are. Um, this is not going to be about any one specific thing. It's just going to be you resonate with a pile or two piles or what have you. And then I'm going to channel different messages based on the one card clarity that we have for each of these oracle cards. Uh, the one card clarity with tarot. Of course, timestamps are going to be listed. And I'm going to start with pile one, detective. Pile two, hedonist. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but whatever. Pile three, Knight, K-N-I-G-H-T, two silent letters in there. Pile four is Scribe. Pile five is Teacher, okay? So each of these uh, is gonna give a little definition and um, just right now kind of resonate and see which one of these is the right pick for you or maybe it will be two of them, but remember the um, this is going to be about any particular topic in your life, just messages that I'm randomly channeling with our one card clarity for each of these uh, archetypes, okay? So timestamps are going to be listed and let's get started. So pile one, we have the detective, right? This is our detective here and this is light attributes, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. And shadow attributes is voyeurism, falsifying information. Okay, so this one is very, very interesting. First off, I'm getting, um, and remember these are going to be very, very random. So uh, how you know which one is right for you, it'll feel right when I say it. If something feels bad, then obviously that is not meant for you. Uh, if something causes uh, some sort of unnatural excitement, uh, it might be a little more ego-based, but if something feels right and it feels true and it feels like the next step in your journey, know that that is the message for you, okay? So there will be a lot of different ones. And this is for you to decipher. As I said, we're doing things a little differently. So detective, I am getting Scorpio energy. I'm getting Aquarius energy for detective, okay? Um, definitely a lot of eighth house stuff going on right now. Um, there might be a preoccupation with some sort of death. There might be something uh, having to do with um, the afterlife, the occult, the underworld, something like that is going on. Um, I see something that is shrouded in mystery for you that you need better clarity on, okay? I'm not really sure what topic, because again, this is going to be random, but you are in the process of, I think, figuring out something, okay? Or maybe you have information, but you are withholding it, and I feel like if that is the case, if you do have information right now in whatever situation it is and you are withholding it, that you definitely should keep withholding it until the time is right for you to come out with what you know, okay? So that's uh, number one. Uh, not sure what number, but we're not going in any order. You know, this is my channel. And then we got two of wands, okay? So two of wands is interesting because um, this card came out in reverse. So... Um, I'm sensing something here like if you see like this deck is really showing uh, someone from behind and what's going on ahead of them okay um, this deck and I, I don't know why but I these these two decks this oracle and this tarot deck they really call to me for this reading so in the reverse position it's kind of like um, you're looking forward but there's a sense that like your past might catch up with you okay and whatever that means two of wands now i'm sensing something along the lines of twin flame type of energy type of relationship it's maybe you found out something uh or you know something about someone that you were involved with that feels like a twin flame and you're wondering what you should do with this information should you disclose this information okay so coming out reversed is kind of like again what i said 
if you do have information, now would be a better time for you to wait on it rather than to just, boom, this is what I know, this is what I found out. Remember, this is, I said in the beginning, Scorpio energy, Aquarius energy, okay? This is fixed thought. This is fixed emotion, okay? So you're very, very much embroiled in whatever this is, but whatever is going on with you particularly, no matter the topic, uh, two of Wands reverse. this is saying that what you found out, it did technically already happen in the past, right? It's not exactly what's going on now. You have this new information. You also have kind of like this, <clears throat> this sun over here, and then you have kind of like another orb in your hand that you're looking forward. So you're looking forward with optimism and happiness, but it's, I feel like it, it's one of those energies where you, um, you went snooping, uh, that's the best thing that came out regarding that you went snooping um for fun and you might have found out something that you are uh, not liking or it's not really uh jiving with your energy and you are kind of wondering if you should drop the ball and find out what you know but this is saying that being that this is going on in the past you don't know exactly what's going on now in that situation and you do have some information on this but what's important is to maybe look forward so if you do decide to pass on this information to whoever look how it might affect the the future okay because the past has already happened and i'm sensing that there might be some sort of energy where you're not seeing the whole picture like you kind of went a uh, slew thing around but you don't have the exact whole picture and because i'm picking up this this fixed energy i feel like you're very set on well i found this out and i know what this is and you might not exactly know the whole story so before you come out and just disclose all this information i think you should um at least this is a message i'm getting for whoever it is i think you should wait a little bit and just kind of re-examine it you know maybe if you were looking at it from a pessimistic point of view look at it from an optimistic point of view but it's best right now to keep this information to yourself um because you disclosing it is not going to be uh, beneficial for you or the other party or situation or whatever it is. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for group number one. Thank you for watching this reading. I'm Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. What is up group number two? So we are just going to go in uh, with this one. Now, you might... Um, the way to decipher if, if a message is for you or not is to see how it feels on the inside. If it feels overly any type of emotion, negative or positive or whatever, or you, you feel ooh, overly excited, that still might be a little bit ego placement. Uh, the best way to tell if a message is meant for you is you'll just, it feels right and it feels like the next step and it feels natural. You won't really have a, an emotional charge connected to it, okay? So there's going to be a lot of different messages on different topics for different individuals. And if something is for you, you'll know it, right? Okay, so now we have the Hedonist. And group number two, Hedonist, we have Light Attributes. Inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life. Celebrates the beauty in yourself. Shadow Attributes. Pursues pleasure to the detriment of health, indulges at the expense of others. Okay, so let's see what this card says because I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little confused. I'm sensing some sort of Jupiter energy, maybe Sagittarius, maybe Jupiter and Pisces, maybe something like that. Um, maybe if you have um, any transit going on like which is uh conjuncting your pisces or jupiter in your chart um five of swords okay so this this card is with this deck now um this is somewhat like a reverse position for the five of swords so it's again with the hedonist maybe there was some taking advantage of going on right now and uh you or the other person felt smug or superior and you were kind of uh there were things said that were to to benefit you or if it was the other person they said things that were to benefit them but i'm seeing that this is kind of like an honest communication is going to come out right now okay or maybe with the hedonist something else um also to consider with this archetype is someone who they want to focus only on pleasure so there might have been an unpleasant conversation which they just kind of swept under the rug or they 
um, they did something along the lines of, oh, what, like you were, you were concerned about that, or someone might be um, keeping their, their true uh, feelings about that situation to themselves. They might try to look like they're happy-go-lucky and chipper all the time, but I feel like um, there's about to be like a shift in the perception uh, with this I'm feeling a person, but it could be anything, you know, because again, this is random, but for some of you, I'm definitely seeing, um, there might be a heavy conversation that you wish to walk away from because you feel like it's not pleasant or it's not really part of, uh, the natural, normal repertoire between you and whoever it is, or you and maybe at work or something like that. So it, it can very well be between you and a coworker or what have you, um, this is something where I feel that maybe someone didn't act in uh, your best interest, okay? And you're deciding right now whether you should walk away or you should, my bad, <laughs> or if you should sweep it under the rug, okay? So being that I had like an alert go off at that time when I said walk away, I feel that's significant for someone, whoever you are, so take note. Um, I do see that for many of you, this is more, um, this is kind of like a feeling where if it's a relationship that someone was, um, maybe they were saying that they were only in it for fun and they were only in it for something casual, but their feelings were deeper and they were keeping that from you and now you're ab about to find that out, okay? Uh, and you actually might decide to walk away because if you were looking for the opposite of what that person wanted, then I'm sensing that you just kind of want to be done with it. Like you already had that conversation where you don't want to tread back there. You just kind of want to move forward even if you know that moving forward or actually having that conversation might not be pleasant, but it's something that needs to go down between the both of you, okay? Um, I feel like there's some sort of mystery going on. Uh, I'm sensing third house to ninth house. Um, fire houses going on so if you have uh, some fire in your chart and a personal planet i'm feeling moon um i'm definitely sensing something along those lines okay so this is what i'm getting for the hedonist group i am oculus the alien next door and we will chit chat again soon what is up group number three with our knight n K-N-I-G-H-T, there we go, okay? I do not know how to spell it, I'm cool with it. So, we have for night, we have light attributes, loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. Shadow attributes, allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle, romantic delusions, okay? So, with that, we have the seven of wands in reverse and this deck they're kind of not reversed it's just kind of looking at it from uh, a different perspective okay so this is why i chose this group but you will know if a message resonates with you because it'll make you feel calm it won't make you feel oh my giddy it won't make you feel really down and like or angry or um just confused okay so there's gonna be random messages coming out um just see which one resonates with what you need to hear right now. So, <clears throat> with this night, uh, the first thing I noticed with these two cards, they kind of, they have similar uh, things going on. They have beige, they have kind of like a dusky blue, and they have like that kind of faded maroon color, okay? they're kind of, And even the backs of these cards have the same color combination. So, this group I feel is very much... Um, you're actually very well balanced right now, okay? Even if this situation is not something that you uh, particularly want to be journeying through, that this group, you definitely do have balance in this, okay? I'm sensing that with um, the Seven of Wands, that maybe you uh, were defending some sort of uh, principle or relationship or job or something that not many um, were on the same page with you about okay um this is something definitely i do see because there's a heart here and there's like a defense i'm seeing some sort of uh defense of a relationship okay or a love interest or something along those lines okay um there also might be uh between you and a love interest a miscommunication in the fact that 
one person uh, of this partnership is defending their point and they feel like they're getting nowhere and um, you just do not agree with them at all. But even if you do not agree with what they're saying, you're kind of there and you're balanced and you're like, well, you know, I'm content with my disagreement with them even though that is going on, okay? And this is showing that you, whatever um, struggle this is going on, you are going to come out on top, okay? You are going to persevere. Uh, you are going to receive a message very soon that uh, what you were defending or protecting or what you were so adamant about is actually the truth in this situation and uh, someone is going to start to see your side of things, okay? Uh, the someone who might start to see your side of things might not be the other individual or entity involved in this situation, but you are going to be proven right somehow, okay? That message is coming in. Uh, you are going to be proven right somehow. Uh, just don't really wonder too much where or how or when it's coming, but you are going to be proven right, okay? That's a strong one that I'm picking up. And uh, this is also something like, you know, um, if someone is feeling that they are alone or that they have to stand their ground in the darkness, know that help is coming, okay? Whatever type of help this is, it might be uh, spiritual, physical, emotional, however, right? There is uh, some help coming in, okay? So this group I'm kind of seeing you are balanced right now, but you need to be more open, okay? You can't be so rigid in saying that I only know this and that person is wrong or that situation is not where it's at right now. You need to open up to different messages because there might be messages coming in in unexpected ways. And um, again, this is someone who you're certain of yourself. You're certain that what you fought for will be victorious and it will be okay. So news coming in soon for this group. Uh, thank you for watching group number three. I am Oculus of the Alien Next Door and we will chit chat again soon. What is up group number four? So group number four, like with all the other groups, I do want to say that you are going to know a message is meant for you because uh, it will make you feel still inside and calm and you'll feel like that is the next step in your journey. It's not going to make you feel okay and it's not going to make you feel down. Okay, so uh, it's going to be something that resonates and it feels like the next logical step, the next right step, the next purpose, pur purposeful step in your journey, okay? So for you, we have the scribe and the scribe, uh, S-C-R-I-B-E, uh, is light attribute, is pers pres preserving knowledge and information. Shadow attribute is altering facts or plagiarizing others work okay so with the scribe now we also have the wheel of fortune okay so uh this wheel of fortune is i mean if you want to look at this uh the symbology is actually i like it's so amazing i love these this lizard and this dog head on top of these people here um but these two cards, just like in the group I previously did, these two cards, they kind of had the same color scheme going on, both uh, on this side and on this side. And these tarot cards are actually two-sided, but, um, you know, it doesn't matter. It's still, it's still the same as this one, even though this one is one-sided, the same color scheme. So with this, I'm seeing a lot of green. I'm seeing a lot of earth energy. Um, heart chakra, root chakra things. And remember, all of these messages are going to come in like randomly and channeled, so you'll know which message is meant for you because, um, you know, that that's our intention here, right? We want to receive the best messages which are accurate. So, light attribute with the scribe and the wheel of fortune. I feel like, um, something big is about to come your way maybe something that you've been working on for a while i'm sensing gemini energy here i'm also sensing like sixth house type of stuff i'm sensing third house so i would check to see if there are any planets aspecting those houses of yours now here we have someone writing and uh to preserve knowledge without altering facts or plagiarizing others works i feel like um this coupled with the wheel of fortune is Someone is about to get their big break, so I'm seeing a lot of like screenwriters or someone who, uh, maybe a journalist or something like that. Someone where you 
are actually taking information. Even it could be someone who operates a YouTube channel, right? You're gathering information and then you're kind of like spreading it uh, to the best you know how your knowledge right now. And with this, this is showing me like keep on doing what you, you're you doing, okay? You need to just focus on um, making the best out of whatever this situation is, okay? This could also be if we want to go for a relationship standpoint, this is kind of... Um, saying let your feelings be known or someone is going to let their feelings be known for you uh in a perfect way because with the wheel of fortune here upright it's sort of showing that you know a random stroke of luck is about to happen okay a random like chance happening okay like a clap of destiny or something along those lines and um i do want to say that there it might be between like uh a squared or an opposite sign of the zodiac okay and this could be for sun or moon or uh yeah i'm feeling sun or moon so someone that might have an opposite or square sun or moon from you i feel like there's also a situation going on with that that is um for you to remain in your truth and then uh or tell them your truth and something lucky is going to befall you both okay so with this we kind of have two over here with the symbolism so i'm sensing maybe two individuals that are involved in something it might be a situation where it's wishy-washy you don't really really know what's going on um i'm actually seeing text messages so i don't know if that's something where you want to be saving a conversation just for future reference just to prove your point and show that you're right um this is also something in a uh, career standpoint where uh, if you are going to send that email, make sure that you uh, CC or BCC, whatever that is, when you attach it to the to the other person, just to show, like, listen, this is um, <clears throat> what I'm saying. Like, like, show proof somehow in writing, or obviously now we have like tech writing, so an email or whatever. Um, definitely seeing that, but. I'm sensing that you kind of, once you show the proof that it's like physically like written in front of whoever it is, it's like, oh shit, like, you know, something magical is going to start a movement with that, okay? So that is the message, of, the main message that I'm getting here for group number four. Um, I'm Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. What is up group number five? So... Group number five, what I'm going to say, as I said uh, with the other groups, this one, uh, this is going to be a different type of reading. Uh, to know that a message resonates with you, you are going to feel calm and still and tranquil inside as if uh, it's the next step that you're supposed to take, okay? It's going to feel right. It's not going to make you feel any type of down or negative way. It's not going to make you feel Ooh, overly, overly excited. It's something that is going to resonate or you might actually get goosebumps or um, let's say if you have a dog, your dog might bark right at the second that that message comes or, you know, you might uh, be on your phone looking at this video. Then you look up on the TV and you see uh, uh, the brand new car that you want on a commercial or something. Okay. And then that might be what you're inquiring about so for this group i'm definitely sensing a lot of messages coming in from different ways and this is very interesting because we have the teacher card here and the teacher card this says light attribute is the ability to communicate knowledge experience skill or wisdom and then we have shadow attributes manipulating or abusing students teaching negative traits and destructive skills and we have this with temperance okay so temperance now again this is something that i'm noticing I, I always look a lot at symbolism and you guys i feel like you're it, it, um out of all the groups i feel like group number five you're gonna have the most uh light workers in this group okay that you know you're a light worker so if you look at this and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it too well but uh these two fellows over here kind of look the same and they're both kind of beautiful um they kind of look the same right they look like the same kind of character on the card and they're kind of doing the same thing like this one is holding two pieces of a globe and like things are coming out of it like bestowing knowledge i guess right and then this one with temperance holding two things in their separate hands like uh, how the chalices 
you pour from one cup to another, okay? So, you guys, I'm sensing light worker energy, okay? And again, we're gonna go with the symbolism of the cards, the same, we have this green color, and then on this side of it, we have that red color, okay? So, I'm sensing that uh, you're kind of in the middle, like green and red, right in the middle is yellow. So, you're kind of at, um, you're waiting to see what you should do, okay? And you have knowledge. I'm really sensing light workers here, okay? Like, so there might be quite a few of you that are, uh, you're debating how deep you should go into your spiritual quest, okay? I feel like you have good angelic communication right now. You have good balance. You're learning more about yourself every day and you're learning more about others every day. I'm definitely sensing um, with this is that you know that you have a purpose here, okay? That's to teach and to learn, okay? Because no one really ever stops learning, right? And when you learn something, the best way to learn something is to teach it to someone else, okay? So I'm sensing a lot of that going on with this group. Um, Sagittarius energy, I'm definitely sensing. Um, Mercury energy, uh, Jupiter, I'm sensing like air houses, okay? That's what I'm sensing with this. Um, the sign of Sagittarius, also the ninth house, um, higher knowledge. This might be pertaining to someone who, even if they're not in the spiritual arts, they are just trying to attain their degree. And uh, this is saying that, yes, you should go for that because whatever you are trying to succeed at right now, career-wise uh, or education-wise, this is the path that you were supposed to be on. So for some of you, this is going to resonate and this is, you know, the answer is yes. Okay, so whatever question you were an, uh, asking, the answer is yes to whatever that was. And this is showing me solar plexus heart um, chakra energy. Okay, um, it's also showing root chakra energy. So, I mean, see how aligned your chakras are, the ones that I just mentioned. Okay, um, sensing that they're, uh, those might need to be brought into a little better of a balance. Um, this is definitely saying that you have a lot of knowledge, okay? Even if it's not career-wise, even if it's knowledge on, let's say you're in a relationship, um, you most likely know that person way better than they uh, are even thinking that they know themselves, okay? So if this is a relationship, this is a spiritual relationship, um, this is definitely, I'm seeing a soulmate type of pairing, okay? And a soulmate... You know, they can be a friend, they can be a partner, they can be a business associate, they can be a family member, they can be a pet. Like a soulmate is like, like you know, you, you get along, right? You're good together. So if you are inquiring about a person, this is a soulmate connection. That's what I'm seeing. And this is something that you can grow upon and expand with this person because they're kind of on your same, same wavelength. And I'm sensing that if this is about another individual that they likely know you very well too like you guys are just so in sync with each other it's like one entity but it's like equally balanced okay so these are the messages that i'm getting for group number five uh hope some of those resonated with whoever they're meant to resonate with i am oculus the alien next door that was today's esoteric topic and um yeah remember peace good vibes and namaste Stay blessed because you are.